Hey, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, uh, just like this. All right. Uh, well, uh, this is just going to be a quick video uh, about something I was trying to do and went terribly wrong. <laughs> but uh, I'm still doing this update video because the, um, it also shows something else that I wasn't planning to show, but it just happened that way. So, um, as usual, uh, if I had any, any comments, uh, any questions just type below and you'll see uh, how this went terribly wrong and we still kind of learn something from this. Okay. Um, so uh, a few months ago, I did a video about uh, UV protection, um, you know, protecting your books uh, from UV damage. And I went over like uh, the films that I bought. Uh, my friend cut it for me that I can install um, on the slabs. Um, so if you haven't seen the video, you can watch the video. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Um, but once I did that, I, I wanted to test it. You know, see what would actually happen. Uh, use the uh, the film and actually expose that to sunlight uh, for a few months. So I think it was, like, I don't know, three, four months ago. Uh, I also try to, you know, test the UV film that I use on my windows. See how that would protect the comic book as well. Um, I didn't really want to use a real comic book. Um, well, for, I didn't want to damage a, a, a nice comic book, but I, I get a lot of those uh, heritage uh, auction books, which are some of them are really nice. But I decided to just use one as a you know to test it. So I put the film here, I put the, the other UV film that I use for my windows, some foil, <laughs> aluminum foil here, and left this part exposed. And I put it by my window, uh, one of the bedrooms, uh, the spare bedrooms I have here. And I put it right, you know, inside the house, but, you know, in the window there. And left it for all those months, hoping that, you know, I'll be able to show you <laughs> um, some uh, fading here, which it's not very noticeable. I mean, it's very light, but it's not really that noticeable. So this test kind of fail in some ways, but I guess it was a success in other ways uh, that I wasn't planning to show you. I was planning more to show you the fading part, but uh, once I got the book and you can see the pages, I mean, they're very crispy and it's like you left this book inside a a toaster oven or something and you can I don't know if you can hear it. it's like very crispy and hard and it's a little bit deformed and I think it's a combination of uh, humidity and really hot temperatures and you're wondering uh, well I keep my books inside so I don't you know on a temperature controlled area well things like this can still happen um, you can still have some humidity inside your house or some parts of the room. Overall, in the entire room, it wasn't that humid. Uh, it wasn't that hot. But since I put the book right by the window, um, you get some humidity still. Even though I have my AC set at usually 75 or 77, I don't live in a really humid place. We don't get snow here. Uh, most of the year, the temperatures are either between... 60 to 90 or so so 
but this still happened uh, as you can see I mean, the pages are like very crispy and you can compare to a regular heritage uh, auction book it, it looks completely different so even though I'm not really able to show you the fading that I want to show even though up close uh, I don't think you're gonna see in the video you can notice some fading um, it's not as bad as I thought it is gonna be but I'm still able to show you what you know high temperature and humidity can do to your book so just don't think that oh you have your book inside uh, I think it's gonna be fine uh, just pay attention to where inside your house you're putting the books because you the room may be you know a nice temperature not very humid but the place where you're putting the book or the box you're putting the book uh, I talked to a friend of mine that he thought that putting his book on a, a fire safe was going to protect his book and he's not going to have to worry about it but somehow he got some humidity some issues there um, I didn't get the whole explanation for what happened but his books got damaged and some people think that like <clears throat> Uh, the CGC slab is completely sealed. Yes, it, it's sealed in one way, but it's still designed to let some uh, gases, I guess, off. So it's not like you, you can throw inside your hot tub or something. The book is still going to be protected. It, it won't. So if you have it in a very humid area or, or like under direct sunlight, I mean, that room where this was, Probably was 77 degrees all year long. But the problem is because you, you had direct sunlight on it or is in a really warm part of the room, the book itself, the cover probably reached, uh, I don't know, 100 degrees or, or more. Even though the room itself, you know, for most part of 75, de uh, 75, 77 degrees. So, oh well. Uh, I guess this test is kind of over. <laughs> uh, um, and if you're wondering why did I keep this book inside, if I want to really show the fading, is that I was trying to, I don't have my books outside, so I was trying to keep it like the conditions the same um, to see what would happen. But um, it still didn't really work very well, so it, it's kind of a fail. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to show you this. So you can see what could happen to your books as well. So, well, if you haven't seen the the UV protection uh, video, please take a look at that video. I'll go over some other things that you probably, if you're new to collecting or CGC books or anything like that, you probably want to know before it's too late. Because a lot of times, you know, a lot of this damage is unreversible. So just take care of it. And as usual, any questions or comments, just write below. Um, I should have a couple of other videos as far as a uh, comic book storage soon. And I've been working, well, let me show you, uh, on my uh, room, which is, as you can see, <laughs> is a complete mess. Uh, I have some new statues and books, so I'll go over them um, soon. And well, uh, if I haven't subscribed, just subscribe and ch or check back soon if you don't want to subscribe. That's fine. Okay, thank you.